months ago, a friend and I were having a conversation. I was sharing with her some funny experiences uh, that I had <laughs> behind the scene during one of our medical programs through Empower 54. And she asked, why don't I share that with the public? Because the focus is always on the beneficiaries. People overlook the fact that people leave their lives, their homes, their families, their jobs to go help other people, people they don't even know. We go through experiences that sometimes are great, sometimes are not so great. And we don't share that. We keep it all quiet and mom within the philanthropy sector. She asked if I would do videos to share some of those wonderful and not so wonderful experiences. I said, yeah, I would, but I didn't. She reminded me again last week. Actually, more like scolded me. <laughs> um, I discussed this with the people closest to me on the field. I have this special unit. Uh, a couple of young men that are closest to me, they're always, always with me doing programs. I love field work. My thing is field work. I love it. I want to be on the field. I want to meet the people we're helping. I can't be everywhere, but whenever I do join them, I have my own little special team while the other general team is doing their own thing. You'll get to meet this young man because they are also going to do little short videos and talk about how <laughs> sometimes they get into each other <laughs> because, you know, you, you have sometimes tens of people working together trying to help other people within a short period of time there's a lot of tension there's a oh gosh um different personalities people will have different views of how things should be done so sometimes we all just don't get along <laughs> so some people get into it with each other and then you have those that just you know uh, but it, it's always very funny when they can't deal with these issues and they come running to me because uh, they call me mama uh, to help resolve issues that they can't resolve amongst themselves. But it's the reason why I did not do it is because she was asking me to literally put my heart on my sleeves and share to the whole world. There are many things that I have experienced over the years of 15 years of being a philanthropist that have definitely impacted my life, has changed me in, some, in many ways for the better, helped me evolve to be a better person based on my own definition of what a better person is, a better me. And in some ways it's It's changed me in ways that, well, I've seen things that I wish I didn't see because it's changed a lot in my perception of life and people in general. There have been moments that when I look back, I laugh happily. And there are moments I look back or I talk about and I still cry, even till date. And then asking me to share that to the whole world. It's okay when it's just me and someone close to me, or my boys, or to the whole world, you know. But they agreed that it was important. We also let people know what we do, how we do it, our sacrifices. So, here it goes. <laughs> So we've decided that um, this short little videos will be tagged hashtag PMO talks. PM will be my initials, of course. Uh, my initials are uh, Princess Mutu Perizolua and talks. But I won't be the only one talking. So once a week, we will post a video on the IGTV and take you along with us to experience some absolutely wonderful things.
and talk about <laughs> so crazy experiences moments that we will always remember always remember wonderful moments wonderful people we've met over the years relationships we've built that money can't buy they're priceless so all right girl you asked for it we're gonna do this all right hashtag bmo talks <laughs>